for example, 31, please do so. Uh, this is just a second example, slightly more involved, but it allows us to integrate an expression in X, which we otherwise wouldn't be able to do using integration by parts and what we call the dummy function. So we cannot integrate the inverse cost of 3x on its own. But what we're going to do is we're going to think about this as the inverse cost of 3x multiplied by 1. Why? Because we can actually differentiate the inverse cost of 3x. So if we nominate u as the inverse cost of 3x and v dash as 1, and we go through the process of differentiating that. So the derivative um, would be 1 over, it's negative, uh, I'll let's put the negative right at the start, the negative 1 over the integral of 1, the square root of 1 minus x squared, which would be in this case 3x squared, multiplied by the derivative of the inside function, which is 3. So I get negative 3 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. That's our derivative. Um, over on the right-hand side, the, the function v is the integral of v dash, and the integral of 1 with respect to x is x. So we can consider uh, where our integration is going here. We want to replace it with uv minus the integral of u dash v dx. So u is the inverse cos of 3x multiplied by v, which is just x. I'm actually going to write them down in the opposite order. Minus the integral of u dash v. u dash times v, is, that's x. So I've got, I'm going to put, because I've got a negative term here, I'm going to make that plus, and I'm going to make 3x. In fact, I'm going to put the 3 as a constant term outside as well. And I'm left with x times the square root of 1 minus 9x squared with respect to x. Okay, so the, just to clarify, the negative and the 3 from my uh, derivative u dash uh, has been in, uh, consumed into this plus 3 here. Okay, So I've still got a little bit of work to do with this uh, integral here. Because if we can't simplify it any further. So clearly we've got two different terms in x. So if we look at techniques to solve that, the 1 minus 9x squared is a squared term. And the x dx on the uh, numerator here is a, a linear term. So if we were to nominate, we're going to do integration by substitution here. Okay, so I'm actually going to write it out as x over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared dx. This is where we're going to let... We can still use u. It's, uh, we don't have to always use u, but I'm going to in this case because we're used to doing that. Is 1 minus 9x squared. Then du by dx is negative 18x. So du is negative 18x dx. We don't want uh, negative 18x dx. We only want, or we're just over here, x dx. So effectively, we can say negative 118th of du is x dx. So when I substitute in here, um, I can say it's negative 118th multiplied by the integral of 1 over the square root of u du. Okay. The x dx, just here, x dx is replaced by the negative 1 over 18 with respect to u. So there's our negative 18 du, and we've got u, the square root of u, on the uh, denominator. Well, that's doable. It gives us negative an 18th 
of the integral of u to the power negative a half du, which is, if we integrate, we're going to have uh, increase the power by 1. So that gives us positive a half. positive a half, divide by the new power, plus c, which is going to be negative 1 over 18, multiplied by 2, dividing by a half, is then multiplied by 2 times u cubed, u, sorry, square root of u, uh, and then they cancel out the 2 and the 18 to give us uh, 9, so the answer would be negative a 9 of the square root of u, which we nominated as 1 minus 9x squared plus c. Okay, so we've done all of that. Why? Because we're actually trying to sort out this integration up here. So going back, I can say that I've now got x times the inverse cos of 3x plus 3 times of whatever I just worked out there. And I worked out that as being negative a ninth times the square root of 1 minus 9x squared, I can stick that, plus c. And we can multiply the out of the bracket. And that is our result for the integral of the inverse cos of 3x with respect to x is x, x times the inverse cos of 3x minus a third times the square root of 1 minus 9x squared plus c. It's a little bit more involved because we had to do the uh, integration by substitution, but hopefully that kind of makes sense. Go back and try it again. Um, it is a wee bit more complex, but it's worth being able to do. Okay.